Hey guys, how are you? Steph here. So in this vlog, I just want to quickly talk about uh, code editors. Code editors, which are the key tools of any developer, regardless of the language, PHP or web stack, uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, uh, Python, Java, whatnot. At some point, you're going to have to get into a code editor. And the code editor, the code editor is something you should learn after you've done your basics. So if you've done my basic course on PHP or JavaScript or whatever, once you've done the very basics, you, you got your head wrapped around the basic concepts, then it's time to look at a proper code editor for whatever language you happen to uh, want to specialize in at that time. So I'm going to offer some suggestions, which I think are the best in the, these various languages. Now, depending on what coder you speak to, you're going to get different opinions, but this is just my opinion. You could check it out. A lot of the code editors are really good, but some are, are really exceptional, though. Okay, so if you're getting into the web stack, HTML and CSS and JavaScript, my choice would be Sublime Text. Sublime Text, you're, there is a Nagware version where you can use it for free, but every five or six save or something, every time you save, it will say, hey, you should buy it. Um, and you just press OK or cancel and you just keep going. But at some point, if you become a professional developer, you get your first gig, you should buy it. I think it's like 50 bucks or something. It's really worth it. It's a, it's a bit, a little bit to learn Sublime. It's not super obvious, so you have to do some uh, tutorials or something or just read the docs. and but it's really designed by developers who want to be very productive. It's going to help you to write code so much more quickly and easily. It's going to correct things for you. It's really good. In terms of Python programming, I would suggest PyCharm by JetBrains. Now, there are others out there, but JetBrains is a company I know from the past. I first learned of them back in, I guess, late 90s or early 2000s. I think late 90s, they came out with a product called IntelliJ for Java, which was a killer, a killer Java uh, editor. And uh, prior to that, I forget what I was using. But I remember in my Java career, I, I was one of these purists who would just write my Java code in Notepad. And I was like, yo, it's tough. You know, all right, I'm doing a Notepad. And I did, and it was fine, and I did it for a few years in Notepad, but then I finally broke down and said, okay, I'm going to try a, uh, developer tools. And I ended up with uh, IntelliJ by JetBrains for Java, and it was huge because it does the code completion and refactoring support. It just speeds up the whole thing. It reduces bugs. It just, it's such an important tool, and especially once you have your basics down, and you, you can write code, whatever the language, products like IntelliJ, they have code completions and hinting, so they'll be able to help you learn the language as you go along because they're going to point you to libraries and correct you along the way to a certain extent. It's kind of like having a tutor to a certain extent, so it's really, really a good tool. So for Java, IntelliJ, uh, IntelliJ uh, that's by um, JetBrains. For Python, IntelliJ as well, PyCharm, highly regarded. For PHP, again, IntelliJ again. Uh, I would uh, go with, uh, what do they call it? PHP Storm by, by IntelliJ. Now, Sublime Text, as I mentioned before, for the web stack, they can do Python and PHP, and I believe Java as well, and they can do it pretty good, but not like, you know, code editors in full-blown IDEs, integrated development environments, like, like IntelliJ provides for Java, Python, and PHP. It's a whole different level. It's a whole different level, so I highly recommend I know that IntelliJ, and I'm not, it's not a sponsored post. I don't talk to these guys. I don't know these guys. So this is not a po sponsored post. I don't know these guys. I don't talk to these guys. But they're just great products, so I have to, I have to uh, give my thumbs up. It's more, for, it's for you guys. I'm not supporting them. I'm supporting you guys. I want you guys to be able to, uh, to be able to code effectively. They just make really good products. Now, there are other ones out there, pretty cool. But those, as far as I understand, from my own experience, they were the best. And from what I hear, they're still the best. So it's up to you. Sorry for the exposure changes, the brightness of the video, because the sun keeps coming in and out, and I want to punch the sun. But uh, anyway, that's it for this vlog. Ciao.